Welcome to the channel. Today, we'll dive into the volume profile feature in ADAS, explore its different variations, and discuss how it can be used effectively for market analysis. At the end of the video, where we'll share a practical tip for analyzing the market and validating key levels more efficiently. First, let's break down how the volume profile works in different market phases. Select the area you want to analyze, and ADAS will generate a volume profile for that range. This profile shows the total trading volume at each price level, highlighting peaks and dips on the chart, areas where varying volumes of contracts were executed. For instance, if a significant number of trades occurred at a specific price level, that level will appear as a peak. The taller the peak, the higher the volume of contracts traded there. For example, you can see a notable concentration of contracts traded here at the bottom during the range, which is why the volume profile highlights a prominent peak in this area. During a rapid trend phase, there were numerous areas with minimal trading volume. The market didn't pause at those levels, participants quickly absorbed limit orders and aggressively pushed the price higher. At that stage, breakout traders might have entered the market, spotting a break above the previous high and anticipating the continuation of the trend. At times, retail traders also contribute by driving prices further in the same direction as larger players. Here, we observe another dip, indicating low trading activity. Nobody wanted to stay at this level, everyone was focused on trading in the uptrend. In this zone, the largest peak with the highest number of contracts appeared. It's possible that major players were taking profits and closing part of their positions here. Alternatively, there may have been manipulation aimed at creating the illusion of a reversal or trend exhaustion. However, this will likely be followed by another upward movement. Once again, we notice a dip followed by a sharp rejection at the top. The volume has nearly disappeared leaving only lower peaks and further declines. This suggests a lack of interest in trading at this level, there was no momentum left to push the price higher. Now, let's activate the classic volume on the chart indicator, which appears below the candles. In the settings, you can choose what data the indicator should use, volume, bids, asks or number of trades. You can also customize the colors, set sound alerts, apply filters for minimum volume levels, display values numerically in cluster charts, or adjust the delta's color settings. We'll keep it set to volume. This indicator also highlights dips and peaks in volume, but its key difference lies in showing the exact candle with the highest trading volume and the specific time it occurred, this is referred to as horizontal volume. In contrast, the volume profile represents vertical volume, which ties volume to specific price levels. Unlike horizontal volume, it doesn't focus on individual candles. Instead, it aggregates the volumes of all selected candles to show the total trading activity at each price level. Here's a clearer explanation of how the volume profile is created. Each candle is broken down into price levels, and the number of contracts traded at each level is calculated. This process reveals the trading activity at every price point within the candle. The next step is to combine the volumes of all the candles for each price level. To visualize this, rectangles are drawn. Longer rectangles represent higher trading volumes. The final visualization depends on how many candles are included in the analysis. Now, let's clarify some key terms related to the volume profile. Peaks are high volume nodes or price levels where a large number of contracts were traded. These areas represent zones where the market is highly active and are often used as support or resistance levels. Dips are low-volume nodes, it's a price levels with minimal trading activity. These areas highlight where the market has little interest, often resulting in faster price movement through these zones. The highest peak in the volume profile is known as the POC. This is the price level with the largest volume of contracts traded across the entire profile. Another key concept is the value area, which represents the range where 70% of all trades took place. This range is defined by two levels, value area high at the top, and value area low at the bottom. The value area helps us understand where the majority of trading activity occurred and how that might affect future price movements. Now that we've covered the theory, let's move on to the three types of volume profile available in ADAS. We'll have a look at how each one works and the benefits they offer to traders. The first type is market profile and TPO as a drawing object. This tool is extremely valuable for analyzing market movements and enables you to identify specific areas. For example, within a range, you can calculate key levels like POC, value area high, and value area low for that particular zone centered around the accumulation point. This helps to identify the most active trading levels from the past. 
The second type of volume profile is the market profile and TPO indicator, which we covered in the previous video, check the link in the top right corner. This profile enables you to track trading volume over specific time periods. The main difference is that you define a fixed time frame for which you want to calculate the profile, like a day, week, or month. The daily profile is the most commonly used. The weekly profile tracks trading activity from Sunday evening market open to Friday evening close. For 24-hour markets, it runs from Sunday midnight to the next Sunday midnight. The monthly profile spans from the first to the last day of the month, providing the longest time frame for analysis. The longer the period you analyze, the stronger the volume profile levels become. For instance, the POC in the monthly profile shows where the highest trading volume occurred during the entire month. Based on this, we can expect that this level could act as strong support or resistance in future trading. Similarly, you can spot peaks and drops throughout the month, which offers useful insights into areas where the market may be reluctant to trade. The third type of volume profile is the cumulative profile, which is also a drawing object that gives a unique view of how volume is distributed over different time periods. This profile is typically shown on the left side of the chart and displays volume distribution for the current day, previous day, current week, previous week, current month, or previous month. For example, setting the profile for the previous day helps you see how the current price compares to the price of the previous day. You can also use volume profiles in a mirrored way to compare different time periods. For example, set the profile for the current week on the right side of the chart and flip it from right to left. Then, add another volume profile tool with the settings for the previous week. This enables you to quickly view the volume distribution for the previous week on the left side and compare key levels like POC and value area with those of the current week on the right side. This way, you can easily identify areas with increased trading interest in spots where prices move quickly with little resistance. That's it for now. In the next video, we'll explore some specific trading strategies using the volume profile, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it.